Every year, nearly 2 million babies die during childbirth. 99% of these deaths occur in poor countries where access to quality care and health facilities is severely limited. What is more important is that almost all of these deaths can be avoided with timely detection of complications. And babies have ways of showing us that things are not going well for them when their mother goes into labor. If the blood supply to the placenta is not sufficient and the baby does not get enough oxygen during the contractions, the baby does a smart thing. To try to save the little oxygen available, it slows its heart rate down. And this is the signal that the baby is not managing the labor well that it may not be getting enough oxygen and is suffering. Fetal heart monitors allow us to count the baby's heart rate at the start of a contraction and then it shows us whether the heart rate slows down during the contraction. When this happens, we know that the baby is not getting enough oxygen and we need to help her out quickly. The fetal heart rate is the most important signal of fetal distress during delivery, but the electronic fetal heart monitors are expensive, fragile, and almost completely unavailable in poor countries. They break easily, and it is very difficult to get them repaired. What is needed in low-income countries is a fetal heart rate monitor that is rugged, reliable, and simple to use, and that does not depend on electricity. A not-for-profit organization based in South Africa has solved this problem. They have developed a fetal heart rate monitor that is robust, easy to use and maintain, and that can be powered by human energy when other sources of power are unavailable or unreliable. On the back of the monitor, there is a handle. Winding it creates electricity to power the device. For every minute of winding, you get 10 minutes of heart monitoring. It's very simple and very effective. It's human energy to save lives. The device has won a Global Design Award